We are currently up 2-1 to one against the Wild of Minnesota in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The first two games we did really well, even taking an 8-2 victory, I believe it was, but then, unfortunately, they did take the first game with us on the road. So I'm really hoping that we win this next one because I do not want a best of three. The game that we lost was mostly my bad. Few saves there that should have been made. But you know what? Sometimes it be like that. So we gotta move on and just hope that we can be better going forward. We will view our lines just for a refresher and to see if anyone's injured, I guess. But we look okay other than Berkeley, who actually maybe wasn't playing last game. I feel like I don't remember seeing him. So maybe he wasn't there. So that could be huge for us unless he was there last game and this is all placebo, which I'll still take it. Our defense are very solid. We got Sergachev playing with Kevin and then Christian playing with Jacob. Even Mikey Anderson, 84 overall on the bottom two. That's crazy. That's probably better or at least equal to one of the teams in the league top two. Scotty boy up to 98 overall. We can't get to 99 because it's been retired. All right, I really want to win this game. I truly do. So let's go ahead, simulate it, and hope we get off to another stellar start here. The first two games, we scored within the first minute, maybe two. I know for sure the second game was like 35 seconds, so it was definitely the first minute. And Danton Heinen scores, giving Minnesota the 1-0 lead, and we keep giving them power plays. Can we not do that? Starting to get a little bit nervous here. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Not a fan of what I'm seeing right now. We are just over halfway through the game. It is still 3-0 bad guys, and honestly at this pace it looks like we're going to be heading into 3 with that 3-0 lead. I mean, we can maybe get this done, but we'll see what happens. If we somehow... <sighs> Hold on, gotta turn tethering off. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but if we do somehow end up going on to lose this series, I will be so stuck on the fact that we were up 3-1 going into the third period of the game that could have put us in a sweeping position. And then we went on to let up two. Big save. In the third period, game went to OT, the rest is history, and now here we are, kind of on the verge of a best of three, which I did not see coming after the first two games, especially the 8-2 one. Like, where did we go wrong? What happened? Maybe that sort of, like, awoke the beast, and now Minnesota's out for revenge. Get out of here. Send it out. Okay, so we are definitely not winning this one and he even shrugs it off. Get out of here, jabroni. You know when the little coach suggestion thing comes up and it's like, oh, we need a goal or play for pride. That's what we're doing right now. Just playing for pride. Jarvis, you're not scoring again. Never mind. I forgot you already did. So I take that back. But from now on, no more. Third time's the charm. I really am starting to think that that 8-2 win was a bad thing because I feel like we just thought we had it in the bag. After that win, it's like, oh, easy series. And Minnesota is showing us otherwise right now. I'll tell you one thing, though. We should not be getting shut out. With Bedsy, Matthews, and Pasta all on the same team. Should not be happening. It also doesn't help that we have a 98 overall piece of Swiss cheese in the net. So... We just need to come out next game. And put on the performance of a lifetime otherwise we are in trouble i thought he's gonna go cross crease not to lightning mcqueen over there great spinoff by kevin that's huge they had two guys there and i was like you know what i'm gonna trust this lad and he did not disappoint nice hit but we are gonna be shorthanded which isn't good and do you remember what i said about vasilevsky being 78 overall but still having that dog in him and being able to steal games well I wouldn't say he really stole this one, but kind of did, you know. Finally, shorthanded too, Jake Evans. That could be the start of something. Nice try, Kirill. Like, genuinely, it was actually a nice try. But, uh, get wrecked. Save on a Marchenko point shot. And the only reason I was able to save it is because it wasn't tipped. Wonderful dish off to our defender who then sends it down the ice. We are still trailing by three goals here, so I respect that we're shorthanded. Not anymore, but we should probably just be going for it. Don't dump the puck in. I just had a really good, really bad idea. You already know. 
Let's go, Vazzy. Let's go! I need to knock you off your game because you are playing out of this world currently and something needs to be done. Here we go. Get out of the way, ref! You absolute clown! Don't try to break this up. This is a necessary Tilly. I must take him down. Go for it. Little dodge. How'd that taste? Oh, come on. Oh, too easy! Yeah, I'm... Finally did lose, which is very upsetting. I don't even remember who it was to. And now we are out for vengeance. Okay. Chill, Vazzy. There's no way! Yeah, he's done. Good night, Jimothy Kite. That's not going to do anything for us this game, but it is going to set the tone for the next one. Where we will be headed back home, which is delightful. Trying to take a slap shot in the slot on me? I bet. I absolutely bet. Thought he was going for the pass. He wasn't. I would like to point out, however, that that was the second two-on-one in about like a 10-second period. Seriously. What are we doing? McQueen misses the net. I don't understand how... Like, there's no way a human can compete with an AI goaltender on breakaways. It's impossible. Three seconds left. This game is as good as done. That's all she wrote. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but we have to win the next game. It is mandatory. The good news is that we will be back at home. Which should hopefully help us at least a little bit. Again, one of those series right now where the home team has won every game. And if that pattern does continue, that's a good thing for us because we have the home ice advantage. Give me a good sim here. Please give me a good sim. We have to win this game. Oh my, you're kidding. Brandon Carlo is going to open the scoring. Thank you, Matthews. It's about time. 1-1 one, one after 1. I really just can't believe what's happening right now. Yes! 2-1 Chicago. That is a massive goal. Power play. Kill it off. Awesome. Great job. My only issue with a potential 2-1 lead is the fact that Minnesota has been scoring on command. More or less. In these third periods. So, we got to have a shutdown game here. We have the lead, we just need to keep it. That's all we gotta do, one job. Don't go taking any stupid penalties. Don't go giving up two on ones. I gotta be good, I have been terrible. So all around, we just need improvements. Great interceptin, interceptin? Okay, so that's the levels. They had a great interception as well. That could have been a delightful backdoor tap-in goal. But, nay, it was not meant to be. That's a good opening save for us, though. Kirill, no, get up! I don't like, I don't understand or like that that is happening on seemingly every save. Great defensive play again, Sergachev. He is on fire right now, breaking things up. That was a terrible shot. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. I did actually pass it out. But I guess I was like half a second too late. Win it back, Betsy. That's not winning it back, Betsy. All right. Minnesota has it. Huge save. They're moving this puck around real good right now. Like I just foresee bad things. Really? Really? Oh, you don't like that. Wake up, boys. Come on. Do something out there. Anything. The bad news is they scored. The good news is that we're still tied, so we're not losing. Yet. And we just took a penalty. This is pathetic. What's going on with the mesh here, by the way? How do we not get the puck out there? Someone answer me, please? Cut off the angle on that one. If he passed it for like an Ovi's office one-timer, we were Dunyans. Holy crap, what a save. This dude literally got in my way. Our defender 
came into the crease and prevented me from moving. Look at this guy. No, league's rigged. 100%. There's no other explanation. He is throwing. Vote him out. The president's trophy curse. It's real. It is absolutely in full force for Chicago right now. Wow, a save. Let's go. Don't see those very often. <laughs> we can't. We can't. No. We cannot end the career like this. And then he's just making saves like that. Like it's a walk in the park. They have a penalty coming. It's not even like we're just down by one anymore, though. We gotta get two. Oh, we're pulling the goalie. All right, get to the bench. So that we can have this broadcast view that does not work. Yep. Love that. Okay, this one works. I don't know if maybe I had to press this button to do something. Almost skated that into our own net. So we're going overhead for this. It's just the one I chose, and you know what? I'm too lazy to change it again. That would have gone in if it was me. Well, after obliterating Minnesota in game two to go up 2-0, we now are one game away from hitting the links. I don't believe what I'm seeing. The home team has not won every game now, so let's hope that we can go here and not be eliminated. If we get put out, I am going to be... Fuming. Wake up, lads. This is it. We lose and we're done. A shorthanded goal. Yes. I don't know who you are, but you are unreal. Another power play killed off. Stop giving them power plays. What are we doing? Show some discipline. All right, well, 3-1. This is familiar. Are we in the lead? Yes. Do I feel comfortable or safe? No. None of the above. It's a good save to start us off here. But we have had that in the last few games. And look how those turned out. Another great save on Kirill. You know what? This is where the turn tables. This is the TSN turning point. We're going to win this game and we are going to win the series. Unbelievable save by Vazzy. Although I do think that was going wide of the net, so probably a little bit unnecessary. Huge save on McQueen. They haven't had any lethal scoring chances yet. But they do have a few shots, and so far we're up to the challenge. Nice try. Good shot. Vazzy is all over it, though, keeping his team in it. We don't got to worry about Jarvis because he's not scoring. Okay, back to the point. I was so afraid of a tip right there. See, therein lies the problem. I got to come out real far. Do it. Oh, so close. To cut off the angle so that if it gets tipped, don't matter. All right, still going to save it. But the problem with that is when I come that far out, I am opening myself for all kinds of opportunities where they just send it over to the other side. And it's an easy empty net goal. Don't you dare. They dared. They yeah, no goal. Absolutely no goal. Can you believe what he just did? What exactly did he do? Yeah, you can't do that. He impeded me 100% referee. Call that off. Do it. Come on. If we go up 4-1 here, my confidence levels will skyrocket. Not to win the series, but at least this game. If you guys want to just keep it down there as well, totally fine by me. Just keep passing it around. Play keep away. I'm here for that. The hand eye on this guy. Look at him go. And he even just has the balls to try and carry the puck past whoever that was. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Next time, move that thing. Get in the mitten. Oh, yeah. Fight for it, Pasta. Fight for it. Nice. Knock him down. Let him know who's boss. Love it. The physicality has stepped up. I feel like it's a whole new team this game. They're actually out here looking like they care. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. McQueen goes over. Hits his own guy. Great stuff. With 24 seconds left, I am going to confidently say 
that we win this hockey game. And we are headed back to our home arena where we lost last time. Yeah, big celebration. And you know what? We don't deserve it. We should be humbled beyond belief right now. Third star of the game, 955 save percentage. That should help bring the stats back up a little bit. But again, I don't really care about those. Yeah, yeah, live it up. But guess what? We still got to win one more. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Let me guess. Oh, game seven. What do you plan to do? Win. Is there a key to victory? Yeah, scoring more goals than the other team. How many times do I have to tell you this? Also, the reporter just roasted the whole team. She's like, if you shut down Kirill Kaprizov, they're not going to get many chances. So basically saying that he is the only player that they have. Let's view the stats here quick. See who's performing and who is not. I know that Pasta had five goals after like the first two games and then he's gotten one. What happened? I guess they are both still over point a game. And then we have five points from Bedzi, Sergachev, and Coronato. A flat 900 save percentage and just barely sub three GAA from good old Scott. I was curious to see what his save percentage would be after that 8-2 beatdown, but still pretty good. And so is Thomas's, apparently. The only series other than ours still going is the Seattle, Colorado one. Other than that, Done. We got our work cut out for us here. It is one game to rule them all. What a roller coaster ride this has been. We went from being up by two and deleting them in the second game, 8 2, to being down by one. Somewhere in there, they beat us 5 1, which is absolutely embarrassing. And now finally, we have one game, win or lose, decides if you move on or go home. Well, let's hope it's not the latter. Don't want that. But appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for watching. If you could like, subscribe, that would be heat. And I will see you soon.